Okay, now, quite a few people have been asking us about the differences in the Lanatec range, especially steel, seal, and heavy duty, and GP. Well, heavy duty is a thicker version of GP. Uh, it's still got much the same lubricant qualities, um, but when you move to steel seal, what you get there is the same penetration when it's moist, but then it tends to dry out and skin more. So from my point of view, as a lifelong user of Lanatec, because gee, it's protected my trucks over the years, I tend to use steel seal on all the underguard parts, on the chassis, underbody areas, things like that. Um, the heavy duty is something I tend to use more for the leaf springs, the suspension, um, all around the shackles and stuff like that. But it, at the end of the day, it doesn't really matter. The steel seal will penetrate almost to the same level. And uh, the only difference is it's a little bit easier sometimes to wash off the normal GP and heavy duty lanolin. Now, how do you do that? Well, the best product on earth for doing that is Citraforce because it's another natural product. It's from the same family. Um, the only way, and believe me, I've tried everything from using a box full of pressure packs uh, to putting it through my spray gun, my paint underbody spray gun, but the best way to do it is with this, which is just the Lanatec bottle. And that's because it's got a nozzle that works on all sorts of lovely angles. Um, really good for getting into the hard to get to bits. It's just a pressure bottle. The only thing about it is, is that especially when you use the steel seal, it will clog the nozzle if you leave it for ages and ages. The trick to that is really simple. When you're finished, put whatever's left back in the bottle in terms of product, you know, and then give it a good flush out with, wait for it, Citra Force, of course. And then make sure you pump it through and keep squirting it. Get it all cleaned out. In my case, when I've done that, I tend to blow it out with compressed air too. Put the bottle away and that's it. It's ready for next time. How much are you going to use? Well, look, the best way to buy Lanatec, like anything else, is in bulk. And through the Ruthie shop, we actually do do bulk quantities. You can uh, buy up to 20 litre drums, no problem at all. And if you're a regular beach goer, and especially if you're the sort of guy who's maybe got a couple of trucks and a camper trailer and a few other things, that's the only way to go. Product shelf life seems to last just about forever. I've got um, original stuff in here that Bluey Boyle gave me 25 years ago when he was just starting out. <coughs> All the labels are different, product's still fine. Sometimes it goes a little dark over time, bit of a shake, bang, nothing wrong with it, off it goes. Um, so yes, how much do you use on a truck? Well, I'm doing Milo 2 today. We're about to go and do a whole bunch of beach stuff with uh, Dust em Up, and it's serious beach. You know, a couple of weeks away from home, salt water from day one. So I've already given the old girl a really good underbody wash, as good as I can. I used, here it comes again, a little bit of Citra Force. I sprayed that all underneath, just with a, not one of these actually, just with a normal old uh, garden spray bottle, which is fine for Citra Force. Uh, diluted it a little bit, sprayed it all over just like a degreaser and then gave it a good stiff hosing all over the place. Um, that's resulted in a surface which is ready to take the steel seal. I reckon I'll probably be using at most two litres of steel seal to do the suspension underneath the uh, wings and underneath the body parts, the chassis. I'll be chucking some into the chassis because I always like to. You can't get it out of there, but you know it's in there. And I know in Milo's case, you know, go and have a look at her in the museum. No more rust than she had 25 years ago. That's the benefits of this stuff. Um, other little tricks, always, if you've got disc brakes, you know, you're going to take your wheels off to do this. You have to, because as much as anything, you want to do inside the wheel rims. Number one place for salt water and sand retention. If you've got steel rims and you don't seal up inside the rims, you're in for another set of rims a few years down the track. Um, cover your disc brakes. You know, I like to use alfoil, even rags. Just don't let the Lanatec get on the brakes. If you do, you're going to get followed around by every Kiwi and his sheep for ages as the Lanatec boils off. 
and it will get there, but you don't need to do it. So, uh, you, and you don't want those slow stops for a while until it does burn off. Been there, done that. Make sure you do hubs, bolts, do everything. You can't go wrong. Um, I actually use general purpose or heavy duty and coat the outside of the truck too. You might not want to do that. I find it works absolutely brilliantly. And once again, I can wash it off with Citraforce when I've had enough of it or it's started to get a bit of sand dust embedded in it. But, you know, you might not want to do that. You probably don't paint your uh, trucks with roof and metal enamel either. You probably do want to give it a good polish though if it's a nice paint job. All right, so there you go. Steel seal for underbody or GP or HD will do. It just won't stay on there as long and everything else for everything else. How good is it, eh? All right, I better get into it. So being old and lazy, as you can see, you know, I like to just wheel myself around. Um, I will do literally everything I can see without the wheels on, just on the stool. So that'll be things like the chassis. Don't worry if you get it on the exhaust pipe, you know, just get followed around by strange people for a while. Um, it's just beautiful, the way you can turn the nozzle up. See that? That's a little bit of rust that we bogged when we put this cabin together that popped when we rolled it, but it won't rust any further. I know it won't because this stuff will fix it. This on a 40 is a crucial area. And this bottle, by the way, I'm thinking it's about three years old now. See that, look at that, it works a beauty. So I'll get on the creeper soon and get underneath. Just gonna grab some alfoil to wrap that brake. Okay, it's really not hard, but I'll tell you what, you try and do it without one of these bottles, and it just makes it very hard. Um, if you use a spray pack, any sort of spray pack, doesn't matter what it is, it's got hydrocarbons in it, and they will eventually rot rubber, you know, cause all sorts of damage. Another reason why you want to spray your pure lanolin product, your Lanatec, through something that doesn't have a gas to push it. So that is the worst place for rust on a steel rim beach driven truck, inside the rims themselves. You get your axles, your brake drums, inside the rims done with steel seal. You just added probably 20 years or more to the components. These bottles are so useful that it really is going the extra mile to clean it out. If you don't, that's going to dry up. And uh, steel seal. I might leave a few drops on the concrete, but I'm not going to waste it. Now, I've got Citra Force in bulk, and once you've used it, you probably will too. You'll probably find your, your handbrake pinches it for just about all the domestic jobs. Um, pretty awesome stuff, but it's perfect for this. And my parts washer is full of Citra Force too. Now it was a big job, it really was. It took two and a bit drums, but at the end of the day, it means I can wash parts with bare hands. Don't have to worry about anything. And it just comes up this beautiful clean finish. Yep. And some products that just really are worth it. You know what I mean? I spent a lot of my life mucking around with cheap stuff. Um, sometimes it's okay, it's fine. You know, it does the job. But it's a bit like those cheap petroleum degreasers. They work like absolute champions. You think they are because they're cheap. And then you get something really good, like Citra Force, and you suddenly realise the difference. Especially in cost effectiveness, you know. There we go. See, there's nothing left in there. Tip that out, give it a rinse. Put 
put it back together with a bit of water in there. And then go and chase the wife with it. Oh, I'll just wash this. And once that's coming out just straight water, you're done. I'll just leave that there to dry for next time. Which, with the steel seal, is probably next year. I'll wash the truck after the next few beach trips, but I won't need to redeal, redo the full seal up, as you just saw, until I'm ready to go again next season. Awesome, eh? And of course, at the end of the day, you know, if you love your country, how good is it that Citra Force is biodegradable, so it doesn't, just like lanolin, it doesn't do anything for your hands except good, and it doesn't do anything to the environment, it doesn't kill stuff. And uh, to all you people, and I know there's at least two of you left who are still using sump oil underneath your trucks, you're going to get us kicked off beaches, all right? Natural is the way to go. G'day. Welcome to Ruthie's Ruthless Tales. Go on, grab a slice of fair income, Australia. Get your dose of Ruthie and put a smile on your dial. 